Welcome back everybody to Red Sword Pelling with Talon. I am of course Talon and nobody else. So today we're going to go over thrust or stab. Uh, this is an important tool in your fighting because red fighting is mostly about range control and stabs are all about range control. So we're going to go over two basic stabs and a very important mindset when doing the stab. So to go over the physical aspect and get to our stance once again. Sword 45. So the most common stab you see people using is a rear handed stab. So whatever stab, a stab with a hand that's not on top, right? You see people turn their hips, engage both their body and their shoulders into their hips while letting go with this hand and they throw the stab essentially like this. While we're pelling, there's a couple things I wanna change about that particular form. So. First of all, this offhand, a lot of people like to throw it out here or put it down here and things of that nature. What I'm going to tell you to do is to keep this hand up here as if you are boxing. Why is that? A, to, uh, to protect yourself, all right? Any counterattack that is thrown to this side, you know, you might be able to take an arm instead of a body shot. Second of all, upon recovery of this, if that hand is right here, you'll put both hands on your sword much quicker if that hand isn't, you know, uncontrollably throwing itself off into no man's land. So I want to keep that hand right here. I tend to ball my fist up as opposed to like knife handing it to protect my fingers in case my hand is hit. But as I throw this stab, hand up here, coming back. Secondly, you should turn your bottom hand. It is super important that we turn the hand. Whether you turn it up or down, is irrelevant in my opinion it really depends on what you're trying to do and where your hand position is for example if i was going to do this and i was going to throw a stab from up here i would turn my hand this way if i was trying to throw a stab from a very bottom position i would turn my hand this way the biggest reason we want to turn our hand that causes the twist into that sword first of all kind of like a drilling motion with a punch turning that is that much more force delivered into the stab right second of all it will keep our attack from sliding up into people's faces, all right? It's not an uncommon thing that you might hit a person square in the chest, but because you didn't turn your hand, you slid up into their face, and now you've hit a person in the face, you feel bad, everybody else thinks you're bad. It just sucks, right? However, if I turn, I'm more likely to turn that tip in a position so that it does not move upon striking my target. So once again, I'm going to turn both my base foot and, and the hip of my base hand with my shoulder into this attack while turning my hand into the shot as well, keeping this hand up here to both guard myself and be ready to get back into my, my fighting position as soon as possible. So just a couple of stabs, knock Bob right over, right? Try to knock Bob over now. Boom, stab. On the Pell, all you need is really a touch to know that you moved Bob a little bit. What I'm looking for in a stab as I'm being hit is I want my shoulder to be moved or my body to be moved ever so slightly. I don't need anybody to like jam their sword halfway through my body. I just need a little bit of a push and that's good enough for me personally. And that's all I'm really looking for. Stabs can be very painful as they are Come, they are direct force with very little dispersion. So I don't feel the need to absolutely rail somebody if I don't have to. And I'm not looking to do it on my pail either. The second berry stab that I like to do is a one that I, I won't say I made this idea up all on my own. There are no original ideas, right? However, it's one I like to use over the rear handed stab. So get into our fighting position. As opposed to just turning my my backhand and my, my back foot and hip and throwing the stab as we talked about, right? I like to use the top hand to guide this stab in. Take a little bit of a step. That step will come with the hip turn as well. And I'm going to guide this attack with my front hand. Once again, even now more than ever, you still need 
the turning of your hand and your arm into that. That'll all turn in one motion. At the same time, we're still keeping that hand up to both guard our, guard our bodies. And as we return to our fighting position, that hand is there to grab our sword immediately. This right here isn't doing me any favors. My hand has to travel this far back. I am that much more open on a stab. In case this technique fails for whatever reason, I have my hand in the way here to guard myself. So, just that motion right there. Turn, turn in there. This stab is a lot shorter than the rear-handed stab. However, it's also a little bit faster and it gives you a little bit more control and it allows you to recover more quickly. One big thing that is important when doing any type of thrust or stab on a Pell, because the body motions really aren't that complex compared to other things you might be doing, is where you're stabbing on the Pell. You want to envision that you're stabbing in a very particular spot. It stabs are a very pinpoint strike. So as you're practicing it on the Pell, pick a certain point on the Pell and say, I want to hit that point. And then pick a different spot and say, I want to hit this point. I want to hit this point. If you have to, uh, get a marker or some stickers or something and put them on different spots of your Pell and try to strike those particular points every time you throw a strike on the Pell. This will get you into the idea of if I'm fighting a shieldman and I want to stab wherever the pocket is between their sword and their shield, I'm looking to stab out in that, that area. All right, if I want to stab the legs in particular, the legs are moving all the time in a fight, I may think, all right, I want to fake stab out for the legs there. They're very pinpoint, and you want that pinpoint mentality when doing those strikes on the Pell. So that's how I Pell stabbing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or send me a message on Facebook, and I'll answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.